Okay, everybody, we're going to be talking about App Lead today, or the Yield Max fun version of Apple. So today's video is going to be on how you can make $100 a month buying into App Lead for its dividends. Well, actually, it's not a dividend, it's an option income ETF. So I guess it would be properly called a distribution. But let's go ahead and get straight into the content. So here's the website, elevateshares.com. You can look this up for yourself. Uh, go ahead and click on the Apple link, which once you see all the different funds they have on the front page and scroll down, you'll see you get about a 33% current distribution rate. The payout is monthly. There's an SEC yield, which I'm pretty sure goes back into their fund that helps them grow their market cap for each of these. Uh, you can see the net assets has 42 million. It's growing, which is a good sign. Now, if we go all the way down to the distribution, you can see that the most recent payout was 55 and a half cents per share, uh, which also reflects on the NASDAQ, NASDAQ.com, 55 cents, 55 and a half cents per share. And then the uh, two previous payouts, which were June 6th and July 6th. Um, some Before I go any further with this video, um, Guys, make sure you watch till the very end, because if you're not watching the video all the way through, you might miss some pretty important insights that I give in this video, because I do sometimes get in depth on these. So keep an eye out for that. So that way you don't miss any valuable content. OK, so um, trying to see where. Give me a second on this. I'm trying to see where the uh, next distribution is coming out. And for some reason, I can't seem to find it. I don't know why. Right, here it is. So um, the next X dividend date from what we can see here is on September 7th. So if you guys buy Apple or any of these yield max funds before the 7th, you will um, have to own these shares or sorry, not the 7th, the 8th, you will have to own these shares before and on the day of the 8th. Meaning if you sell them on the day of the 8th and you pick them back up on the 9th, you're not going to get paid out on the 18th. So you have to have these shares on that day or before that day. Not financial advice. Do what you want to with your own money. But anyways, let's get back to it. So there's your next X dividend date to prepare ahead of time for this. Uh, the current share price of Apple as of right now is $20.13. As you guys can see, Apple had a humongous drop after a gap down. Um, this doesn't happen very often, and I'm actually going to point this out on the weekly, which, um, as you guys know, is my highest time frame. So look at this. It's sitting on the weekly EMAs. If it's going to bounce, well, I'm not buying here, obviously, you or I would miss out on the opportunity to buy this at the most optimal price. It could always go lower. Uh, the RSI just came off of overbought territory and it had a death cross, which means it could go down. And the uh, MACD also had a bearish or a death cross, um, bearish divergence here. Um, bearish crossover here going to the downside, which we have not seen in a very long time since basically January. So could indicate lower price action, but these things often do bounce off the EMAs. As you can see, it bounced here, bounced here. I mean, it does happen. So anyways, let's get into the numbers. Um, so in order to get $100 a month on this thing, uh, let, let's just say um, I want to get $100 a month divided by $20.13, which is the current price of Apple. Um Okay, I messed up here somehow. Okay, $100 a month divided by 0.555. There we go. Okay, so you'd need $180 or 180 shares, I mean, uh, to get to $100 a month of this fund. So $180 times 0.555, which is the most current distribution rate, would bring you out to $100 a month. I don't know about you guys, but $100 a month makes a huge difference, huge, huge difference in the current environment that we live in you know, with these jobs that don't pay extremely high and inflation's gone out of control and the Fed's raising rates, 
you know, that extra income helps a great deal. Um, I myself have been taking this into consideration when making my investments, not financial advice, but just some things to think about. So um, there's your hundred bucks a month. Um, the distributions do vary on this thing. As you can see here on the most recent distributions, they're, um, hold on a sec. I got to get back to this thing. Here we go. So uh, you can see that they vary a lot. It's not as consistent as Tesla is. Tesla is pretty consistent, more so than this one. But a lot of people want to own Apple because Apple's a very safe, growth-based kind of stock. It's the largest stock in the U.S. stock market. Uh, the company, you know, uh, market cap is three trillion dollars, which is insane. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all later. Peace.